Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at oxidation and reduction and what those two terms are in terms of adding and removing oxygen. There are two definitions for oxidation then. The first one which we've already covered is that it's the loss of electrons and the second one being that it's the gain of oxygen. That's what we're going to focus on today. So if we have a look at the example here, we've got magnesium reacts with oxygen to make magnesium oxide. Magnesium has had oxygen added to it, so we've started off with Mg, we've ended up with MgO, oxygen has been added, therefore magnesium has been oxidised. Reduction on the other hand is the exact opposite, so in this case it's the gain of electrons and the loss of oxygen. So if we have the example of aluminium oxide, when that's electrolyzed and broken down into aluminium and oxygen, we say the aluminium oxide loses oxygen, therefore the aluminium oxide has been reduced. Oxidation and reduction can both occur in the same reaction. So, for example, if I reacted iron oxide with carbon, heated it with carbon, it forms iron and carbon dioxide. So what you can see from this is the iron oxide has had oxygen removed, therefore we say iron oxide has been reduced, and the carbon, I've gone from carbon to carbon dioxide, so it's had carbon added, therefore that has been oxidised. You can see that with the balanced equation here, so I've got Fe2O3 plus 3C goes to 4Fe plus 3CO2. So my Fe on the left hand side, my iron oxide has lost oxygen and become Fe, just on its own, and carbon, C on its own, has gained oxygen to become CO2, therefore that has been oxidised. Okay, let's have a look at a couple of questions then. So the first one, nice and simple, describe in terms of oxygen what the difference between oxidation and reduction is. It's worth two marks for two simple statements. Part two, explain where oxidation and reduction is occurring in the following reaction. It's worth three marks. So you've got copper oxide plus carbon goes to copper plus carbon dioxide. And you've also got the symbol equation. So explain to me which one has been oxidized, which one's been reduced, and use your definitions from number one to help you. Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's see how you've done then. So number one says describe in terms of oxygen what the difference between oxidation and reduction is. So nice and simple, if we start off with oxidation, we are looking at the gain of oxygen. If we move to reduction, that's the opposite, so the loss of oxygen. One mark for both of those. Explain where oxidation and reduction is occurring in the following. So you could say one of a few things here. The first one, your copper oxide has lost oxygen. Make sure you say the copper oxide. If you turn around and say copper has lost oxygen, you may not get the mark. And therefore it has been reduced. Similar with the carbon. Carbon has gained oxygen to form carbon dioxide. And therefore you can say carbon has been oxidised. That's it for these questions then. There is a review one for you, which is use the following balanced equation to explain in terms of oxygen what oxidation and reduction is. So very similar to what we've just been through. Get your definitions in there and that will sort you out for this question. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to get more updates. You can visit the website for more information and you can look at my latest video. Thanks for watching.